is uh, from a relatively new joiner, so welcome. I was wondering if there's any study guide available for this course. I plan to take the P exam in May and I have three months left of preparation. Yes, the uh, roadmap that was in the welcome email, uh, that's not just marketing collateral, that's uh, actually the study guide. So um, if you're just starting out, you just enrolled and registered, my first order of business for you is to watch the fundamentals um, and then you can roll right into the daily insights. Those two taken together, represent about 12 hours of video that you can just passively watch. And um, the hope there is that you'll hit 90 or 95% of, of uh, the background and kind of fundamentals, the groundwork that you need to start solving problems. But most of the program is actually solving practice problems. And this is for the HVAC, but the, the TFS is very similar. Um, there's most of the time, about 10 weeks, I like to see, but really potentially more. Uh, dedicated to the core topics. And this is all active problem solving. So inside, uh, find the module called practice problems. If you're in the HVAC bundle, it's practice problems for the HVAC exam. If you're in TFS, obviously it's for thermal fluids. But um, yeah, that's the main story there. That's where you're going to spend the bulk of your time is in that practice problem module. And you have the content in a few different formats. You have it in written format. You can do it just from the problem set PDF. You have solution videos, you have solution explanations written down. If you prefer that to the video content, you can kind of, you know, use them alternately as you see fit uh, or use them to double check each other. And then there's also a quiz if you choose to use it that way. It's really flexible. So it's kind of however you want to consume it. But the key ingredient is to work through the problems independently and um, not overly rely on the solutions that are provided until you get stuck. And then once you get stuck, then the solutions are there, get you unstuck and you go back to working it on your own. So that's the main story there. And then uh, at the end, also inside that practice problems module, there's two full practice exams. So another 160 problems on top and uh, all the same features in that. And then I just recommend taking a little bit of time at the end for um, returning or reviewing anything that you found interesting or confusing uh, save yourself a couple weeks at the end to do that, and then just get ready for your game plan on the day of. So that's the study plan. I'm not going to give it to you day by day. Uh, this Everyone's different, right? If you have more time to work on the weekends or the weekdays, we could get into, you know, I, I think one way or another, you got to put in seven to 10 hours a week, and it's kind of up to you to figure out how to do that. And if you do, and you do that for four to six months, then you'll get through everything. Um, and if you take it seriously, then you're going to be ready.